What is up, Flock Finks out here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 19 mod spotlight. Got it right this time. Yeah, fist bump myself. All right, so this is where we show off some really cool mods, and I tell you what I think of them. So uh, we only got a few today, um, but some really cool ones. So first things first, uh, I think let's do let's do this this thing here. I think this is the only thing I have here. Well, besides that <laughs> that Ford. That will be able to pull these uh, these cedars. So let's go ahead and check this out. See the options it has. I hope this is powerful enough. If not, we have a big bud sitting over there. All right. So customize. There we go. Uh, you have the 1976-750-1970. Oh, okay. The engine changed. 800. So. Same horsepower though. 825. Ooh, I like the 8. I like the black. 855. 875. 895. Let's go. Let's go to the biggest one. Oh, uh, and then twin wheels, wide tire, standard twin wheels, customized. Yes. All right. I think it can. I think it can. I think it can. It seems kind of small. I don't know. It might be able to. So let's check out these planters. Uh, or excuse me, cedars. They're under cedars. So the ver seed hawk does 25.6. What do these do? 18.2, 12.2. So they're not as big. Uh, working speed 9, working speed 11. So, at still, if you want something big and a little bit faster, go Seed Hawk. But we're going to check them out anyway. Now, let's go with the smallest one. I think it has the better chance of the two of this, this tractor pulling it. Let's see if we can get it backed up. Hooks. That's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Let's get a. Uh, let's get some. Nope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seed. I had, had a brain fart there. Once. One little brain fart. All right, and then we need solid fertilizers. Get two bags of that. Ooh, fan spins. All right. So fertilizer, fertilizer. There we go. Drop it and it's still fill? No, it's not going to. Son of a point. Gosh darn you. So maybe we'll only put one pallet of each in. Sounds like a good idea to me. We just want to see if it works. I did not toss you. Get back over here because you're going to fill this up. Alright. Let's close those covers. Maybe. There we go. So we have wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans, Olson radish, grass, wheat. All right. So 
So the question is, does this thing cultivate as well, just like the seed hawk does? The seed hawk actually cultivates as well. We shall see. Lower. Turn it on. It does. It works. And this tractor pulls it. I wonder if if the bigger of two will pull. Let's see that. Let's just can disconnect this right here. Nope. Okay. Apparently you can't unhook it, unfold it, unless it was because it was in the process of being folded, maybe? See if I can get this connected again. Can I do it twice? Yes. All right. Let's unfold this. See if this tractor can pull this. I think it can. I think it can. I think it can. Maybe. Oh God, the animation's so slow. Let's go ahead and lower it. Pulls it as well. Cool beans. Alright. So the tractor, I'm going to give a 5 out of 5. It's a nice looking tractor. Um, it has a bunch of different options to it when it comes to uh, paint. It even divides it up in years, which is kind of cool. I didn't test it out to see if the lights work. The lights do work. It's got blinkers on it. It does. And then you have a couple different wheel options. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. I didn't even look at the interior. It's a really nice tractor. Uh, the planter, I will give a 5 out of 5 as well. It looks really, really good. And uh, it gives you two different options. So if you want to go spring for the smaller one or the bigger one, you have both of those options. So five out of five for the planter as well. They look really good. Look really, really good. Um, I'm interested to see if I don't think it will. I'll try it. If if this John Deere will pull that. Uh, I'm I'm trying to spring some time to see if my trailer fills up over there. Oh wow. Red chrome handles. Oh, yeah. Let's see what options we got in this. I like this because it's an older looking tractor. I like that. Right. Customize. I don't think it will be able to pull out. <laughs> Wheel or design, no weight. Weight set two, weight set three. Let's go set three. Give it a little bit of front end weight. Mm hmm. Copy. Mm -hmm. You know, like my dragon, I go with my women. Uh, front fender. No front. Let's go no front fender. Actually, yes, let's go front fender. Engine setup. We have the 4650, 5555, 4850, 4755, 4955. Uh, let's just go 4955. And wheel setup. We have standard. RC weight 30 twin twin ooh, rear wheels okay RC back dual 30 wheel what's the difference okay the wheel weights gotcha 
So you don't, you don't have the option for front treading wheels. All right, so customize, yes. How much does the uh, planter require? Four hundred, two hundred seventy-five. What? What are we at? No, two ten. All right. It's worth a shot. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and I guess since that doesn't work, uh, we're not gonna have enough power. Let's go ahead and customize it and make it single. Yep. Customize, yes. Let's get us a bell shredder just in case. Lights. Lights work. All those lights work. Doesn't have brake lights though. Oh, there's a ditch there. I was gonna say, let's just cut across here, but there's a ditch there. So let's go through, let's get to the cornfield, and then let's cut through there. Just gonna go through the corn. Really like this tractor. I think I'm gonna give the tractor five out of five. Uh, everything works on it. It's got a lot of different options to it. It looks really good. Uh, it's something we don't have. We don't have those those old John Deere's in the game. So yeah, much much. much. This is more like what you'd see running to and fro around my town. The bigger tractors are out in the field. But small, you know. Newer ones, I guess you can say. Anyway, let's. I'm talking out my, my butt now, I guess. All right, let's go over here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give the tractor five out of five, and then let's go. There's so much stuff because I pulled this out of the server. Let's go over here and grab this. Let's get the bales. Bales. Bye. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. Unfold. Hot diggity dang. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, let's go see the options first. Customize, main color. Ooh, yeah, black. Bed gates, no gates. We're gonna keep with the bed gates. Stock and toe tune, let's go to toe tune. Look at this interior. Alright, so let's try to do this.
What even, dude? I think we got enough room for one more stack. Get two stacks of I can't wait for, for game extension to be converted over. This heavy lifting mod has definitely got its quirks. some straw bales to take over here because we got another cow barn to test out. Kidding me right now. I just want to load bales. That's enough. <laughs> How do we put the sides back up? Okay, there we go. It's not pretty. It gets the job done. Cruising with no problems. Even with our crappy stack job. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, lights. We have lights, we have flashers, we have brake lights, and we have reverse lights. So we have... Go ahead and turn those flashers off. Uh, this cowborn here, which someone said was released with the map, the Michigan Farms map. I didn't see it, but I've found this uh, more recently, so here's this. Um, so it doesn't look like the bell, the straw bell, or yeah, straw bell is automatically unloaded. So we get oh my glitchness. Nope. <laughs> this never goes right. This absolutely never goes right for me. Just go in. 
Alright. Can we go all along here? Or we're just back. Oh yeah, it looks like we can go all along here. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. The cow's frozen in place. Now oh, they're moving. Those are back there anyway. These over here, not so much. Get your head in there, Betsy. Hold me up. Stuck between a cow and a hard place. Goodness. Slam dunk. Did it automatically start? Oh, that's awesome. How are they doing? Grosser Kunstall? It's going up. Cleaning this water. They have to inside. So, yeah, it work. all that works. Where's this straw, though, going? I don't see it going on the ground anywhere. So, we have. So, for those of you who are like me that jump in. I and mean, from the outside, I'm like, these doors don't open. How do they open? They don't work. Oh my god. Uh, you have to go inside, and inside there's these little switches. And that's how you open and close them. You gotta go up to the switch, which I kind of like. It's kind of legit. For those of you who are looking at that, uh, these you can, though, the, the middle ones you can open and close from the outside. Uh, Closed. There you go. It opens and closes from the outside. This, I'm guessing, is where your milk goes. It's where you pick it up. Uh, where is your poo? I'm pretty sure right here. Yep, that's where your poo goes. It's where your liquid poo goes. I'm guessing this is where you you drop your water at. Looks looks like it. So, I'm gonna give this one a five out of five. That's a great um cow shed uh, best one I've seen out so far so I think this one's definitely gonna go up to load to the server I gotta see if I can fit it back in my little uh, area of the world and move all my stuff back there and then of course this is where you you unload your animals at right in here so there you go pretty cool five out of five if I haven't said it already um I think we got one more to do it here yeah okay so this monster here is just absolutely freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and check out the options. You have your main color. Wow, look at all these colors. Ooh, lime green. Um, no, uh, orange. And now, uh, does it say met metallic blue? Oh, <gasps> holy yes. Uh, with decal or with or without decals, uh, it doesn't really show up good on the dark blue. So we're gonna go without decals. Wheel setup off roads at one. Alco Al Alcoa's duels and not a huge fan of that. Oh, ooh, I like the off road set too though. Expendables all terrain. Pretty nice. We're going to go off-road set too. I like those best. So we're going to go there. Let's customize. Yes. Oh, dying. Are those American? Yes, they are. That's pretty awesome. We got lights. Plankers. This will also... Hold. You can throw. Hello. There we go. Nope. 
You can also tie down stuff on these. Where you think you're going? You're getting off now. But one of the coolest things I've discovered about this truck is so we jacked up the capacity on the east end dump, the six axle grain or yeah, six axle dump trailer. Um, it was it was slightly lower and I jacked up two hundred thousand just because that's how we do in the server. And uh, the, currently the only semi truck that we have that will pull it uh, that I know of is the Peterbilt, the 379. And Tony says that the, the Mac can as well. I haven't tried the Mac, but I discovered another truck that will, will easily pull it. Yeah, we're about to do this. We are so about to do this. Okay, so it sits a little high. Just gotta lift this up. If you have the heavy lifting, bam. With no issue, pulls two <laughs> a trailer with two hundred thousand mix rations in it. This is crazy. Slow it down. And let's back it in. Wait, we can dump it here? Is this filling up in here? It sure sure enough is. Why are you cows frozen? Hashtag realism. Not really. Just keep on dumping it, man. Just keep on dumping it. So yeah. This thing is slightly a beast. And I like it. Let's make sure it hooks up to the low hitch trailers. It does? Cool beans. Alright, let's just go hook back up to our east end dump. And we have a couple of silos to test out. Um, I'm trying, we're going to go 5 out of 5. Uh, this thing is a monster. It looks good. It's a bit ridiculous. I know it's based off a real truck. Bit ridiculous, but it's nice. <laughs> Uh, it's got a bunch of options. It looks good on the outside. The inside has that same King Merc uh, light duty Ford that everybody's putting in the Fords. But it looks good. It looks really good. I like all the color options too. It has a lot of uh, extra color options which is really nice. Holy cow. Bunk. Okay. Yep. Alright. Fair enough. Can we get some wheat? Yep. Twenty thousand should do. Yeah, give me twenty-five. Twenty-nine. I like that. It ended on like an even number. Twenty-nine, one hundred. Because it was some odd number. I'd probably have to go back and get it. And get more. I know people are cringing right now. Like the 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 elitists that have to have everything 100% by the book legit. Like, oh my god, right now, oh, you can't do that. 
We can do that. Dump this. Ooh, it's going to the top of the building. Let's bust the UE and get our crops back. And while we're getting it, let's uh, see how much this holds. So we have silos. This one, okay, this one holds 900,000 and it holds everything. That's actually pretty nice. What about this one? 400,000 does not hold everything. This will legit hold everything. Might have to up the capacity on it a little bit. And toss this one in the server. 5 out of 5, it looks good. It works. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. This one here. Let's pull up here. Oh. This one I actually really like. It looks really good. Pretty small. Holds 400,000. Not bad. And it works. So we'll give this one a 5 out of 5 as well. Let's go ahead and stop that. Just dump that back out. Is it still going in? Oh. Oh, oh, oh my. It's okay. It stopped. Alright, good. Um, I'm not sure where this building came from, but we'll check it out real quick. Uh, I have no clue where I got it from. I This is the first time I've seen it. The first time I loaded it in here. That opens. That opens. That opens. Do we have lights? We have lights. Pretty nice little building. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. I'm, don't be surprised if this one's not in the list because I have no clue where I got it from. Uh, I have no clue. It looks really good though. Good for like small tractors. It said something about um, it said something about uh, large grain storage. Okay. Uh, and this one, I'm not sure where I got this, the root crop storage from, but it's here. And uh, we're going to test to make sure it works. We're going to cut across the fields to do it, because why not? I think I put potatoes on this. Or sugar beets, one of the two. Potatoes! Oh, that's enough just to make sure it works. Get out of here, get out of here. Eee! 16, Why can't it end on an even number like the other one did? It's gonna bug me now. And how much does it hold? We'll check that out real quick. 300,000 of sugar beets or potatoes. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Again, I don't know where I got this from, but I will try my best to uh, make sure it goes in. There's a electrical box here. Is there... Maybe it's over here? There's definitely lights on this thing. Where are you turn it on at? Maybe it just comes on at night maybe I don't know but yeah we'll go five out of five and that's gonna do it for today's video guys if you did like the video be sure to leave a like down below if you guys want to see future farming sim 19 mod spotlights be sure to click subscribe and as always guys thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time
corn. 